Alright, today, today's Mad Love segment, I got featuring my brother Tyrell. He's been out in the park uh, teaching kids basketball for an affordable price. Um, today, I'm going to just break down, ask him a few questions about how he feels, about, you know, the current situation about basketball, and what's he, what is he doing today. So, today, you got some of your alumni out here. What made you want to bring everybody out? And uh, just play basketball. Um, just just COVID, really, like just checking on everybody and um, not seeing some of my guys. Um, due to the pandemic, some guys left town. Some people been away for all summer, you know, and even the school year, not having kids being able to come to school in person. Yeah, it's like I just wanted to check on everybody, and I knew the best way to check on all my kids was basketball. Basketball brings everybody together. I know how much my kids at LMC love basketball, so once I told them. We was gonna play basketball yeah, together. It was, came it was up. easy to get everybody, everybody together. Came. Yeah, it was easy to get everybody together. Um, just talk about a little bit. I know you work with some elementary school kids. Talk about a little bit on why you started that um, over there at Battery Park. Why you started that for the kids? Oh, just to um, honestly, like I started it just to give kids a different feel of basketball. You know, I, um, some people think basketball always has to be super competitive or they're not good at it. So I went over um, to 89. I went to School Street 276. I just, you know, very affordable. Some kids even get scholarships to do it for free. Just to show them that, like, it's a lot of fun in basketball. And basketball is a beautiful thing. It brings people together, no matter black, white. Red, yellow, you know, no matter what race, it brings people together, and it's a beautiful thing. So I decided to go around Tribeca, around the area where I kind of, um, you know, put my prints on. Working at LMC, I've met so many different wonderful parents. Um, Nikki, Freddie, Abby, I met so many wonderful parents that put me in position to do so so many nice things for me. Um, and then I expanded to boys and girls, and all ages, from sometimes I have four-year-old groups to... 18 year old group so it's just a beautiful thing to get people out and, and have a good time so i want to i want to ask you guys how has tyrell helped you out with your games uh, he helped me out with my game with my defense okay defense he helped me out with my jump shot my dribbling just being all around the players okay he helped me out with my dribbling and consistency with gotcha. all right i got my man i got my man half the cup right here yeah. so, um i wanted to ask you how has Tyrell helped you improve your basketball um, game? Well, he's helped me like deal with adversity because like at the beginning at LMC I didn't really play that much, but okay. like through the years I got better and I learned how to deal with challenges. Mm. Not everything's gonna be handed right to you. Okay. Remember that? Okay, all right. How Tyrell helped me? Yeah. Man, I was a bench woman in sixth grade. Eight, seventh grade, all summer long, worked out. Game started. Best year in LMC started. history. How has Tyrell helped you out with your game? He helped me out with me making moves to the basket. Uh, okay. Yeah, you should. How has Tyrell helped you out with your game? Me? Yeah. Alright, so I couldn't dribble, I couldn't make a layup with my left hand. And I worked with him for a summer and now I can make a left hand layup. I can do anything with my left hand. So thank you, Tyrell. Um, Same question. Sixth, seventh grade, I could only shoot, couldn't go off the dribble. Eighth grade, sorry to go off the dribble now. I'm a more versatile basketball player. You think you want to add, coach? Um, I just want to. I just want to add how hard working that um, these kids are. They trust me, man. Like I tell them something, they don't question it. They know I know the game of basketball, and they do it to the best of their ability. And that's all I could ask for. This is a great, wonderful group of young men, and I'm just blessed to be able to coach them and train them. All right, I want to ask you guys how has Tyrell helped you? Did I ask you already? No. So how has Tyrell helped you guys with your game? Start with you, play. Uh, well, ever since sixth grade, man, I just remember. Walking into the cafeteria, meeting him, playing my first game on the team, he helped me a lot by just pushing me, putting pressure on me in practice, mm. and I'm just finding what he's doing. Okay. He helped okay. me be a better player and a better okay. coach. I like that answer. Best coach in the world. Okay. <laughs> How about you, Jordan? How does Tyrell help you with your game? Tyrell has helped me a lot. Ever since I stepped foot into OMC, my life has changed. Nice. It changed me a lot. And the way he developed my game, it made me a true big man. And how I am today, getting boards, getting blocks. And I just like to thank you so much. Well, I appreciate Thanks, you, Jordan. Man. Thank you. I appreciate thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. Well, you guys, anything to say about these guys right here? Oh, man, man. This guy, let me start with Jordan, man. He's a hard worker, man. Right, anything right I ask him to do, man, if I ask him to run through a wall, he's the first person to raise his hand and do it. He, he's a super, super, super loving kid, man. He'll do anything I ask of him. And this man, this guy right here, what up, bro? This guy right here, if he grows, man, the world is gonna be in trouble, man. This guy got the biggest heart I've ever seen, man. Heart over height, man, and that's what took him so far. He's a great kid.